what's up suckers it's me i'm back i know i've been gone for a while but i had to run the chase the chaos summit which we just had a couple weeks ago it was incredible so much fun uh and i really can't wait to continue growing this thing and to get more neurodivergent women in one room together there was a lot of connecting uh, a lot of great information i'm really looking forward to doing it again so but that's not what we're here to talk about today is it now, today we're here to talk about another app uh, that I have been playing with for the past month. Actually, I've been playing with it for the last year off and on. I was part of the beta testing for the mobile app. And so I decided to kind of play with it again. Somebody in the comments on one of my videos asked if I would do a preview or review of it. And it had been a while since I had messed with it. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy with some of the changes they've made. So let's get into talking about Lunatask, shall we? We'll start with what is Lunatask. And Lunatask is another task management system. Um, it's kind of in the same realm as say, uh, Amazing Marvin but uh, without all of the setup. It's a fully independent, self-funded app uh, that has been around for about four years now, going on five, since 2019. And in their own words, they describe themselves as an all-in-one encrypted to-do list, habit and mood tracker, journaling and notes app. They don't really have any background on where they come from. I'm starting to realize that I don't think that this is a thing anymore. Um, so I can't really tell you much about their past. I can say that uh, their future is looking bright and that, like I said, they've been around for a few years and I know that I have been involved uh, with testing them for probably the last year or two. They aren't paying me anything. They We don't work together. Um, I was just very, very excited by the concept of having an all-in-one productivity app for ADHDers, obviously, and so I was very excited to jump in. After that short little introduction there, let's talk about what Lunatask has going for it that's great, and there's a lot. For one, it encourages you to cut everything that you do into areas of life. That's the actual term they use. and. That comes in extremely handy when you're doing things like uh, theming, which I've talked about before, or when you're trying to like prioritize tasks, especially if you're the kind of person who tends to go according to, you know, household things versus uh, work things, you're going to be able to figure that priority out a little bit easier. When it comes to prioritization, I have to say that without a doubt, Lunatask probably has more options for prioritization than most others I have worked with. Um, you can choose to use either the Kanban method, the must should want method, or the Eisenhower matrix, I believe is the correct term, uh, to figure out when your tasks should be done and in what order and what their prioritization is. So you have those three, and then you also have a very simple click and drag calendar view way of time blocking your entire day. So if you are a time blocker or if it helps you to see what your list will look like actually on your calendar, you also have that option. And then of course, as you're entering tasks, you're able to just pick priority right off the bat, choose your deadlines and you know whether it's recurring, all that good stuff that really good productivity apps all should have. As I mentioned, they really pride themselves on being all in one. So of course you also have an ab a habit tracker and a journal portion of the app, which is fantastic for when you want to keep track of, you know, where your mind is or when you really just kind of need to word vomit before you're able to continue working. The mood tracker uh, is awesome in that I feel like a lot of apps out there when they have a mood tracker tend to forget that energy plays a huge part in how you're feeling and that for certain people like me, for example, who have constantly changing energy levels, it can be really helpful to know what your pattern is for energy in general. When do you feel 100%? When do you feel 20%? And how can you plan around that? Well, Lunatask actually includes that in their mood tracker, which I think is great. The notes function is surprisingly robust. Um, it's really kind of like a built-in word processor more than anything else, but it's a really great place. 
Apologies if you're hearing that in the background. My dogs are locked in the room with me and they're fighting because of course they are. Anyway, the notes function is great for keeping track of random thoughts, lists, things that you might want to use at some point, but you don't need to use right now. And then you're also able to keep track of your tasks according to goal. So if you have an overarching project or an overarching goal, and you just have a bunch of little tasks that need to get done to work up to that goal, Lunatask helps you to keep track of those in a separate view on the home screen. Of course, you guys know how much I love customization and integration and Lunatask is overflowing with that, but not so much that it's overwhelming. Some of the complaints that I saw about Amazing Marvin, which were very valid, were the fact that yes, it's hugely customizable, but because it's so customizable, if you're not a person who enjoys building a dashboard or a, uh, a command center from scratch with no direction, um, it can be a lot. Lunatask, you don't have that. It is customizable, but not to the point of being overwhelming. And there are a number of integrations, but not so many that you're going to wind up overdoing it. Uh, you're able to really the most helpful are the ones that are going to connect you to your calendar. And it does both iCal uh, out, uh, iCal Outlook and Google, and then your email integration, which makes it so that you can turn certain emails into tasks, which is also wildly, wildly helpful, I'm sure. I'm going to say I'm sure because I haven't had a chance to use it. I didn't have a reason to while I was testing it, but I do love that that's an option because there are a lot of people who will need that. Anything else that is being added, I'm sure that if you're watching this in the near future, there will be more that Lunatask has added. One other thing uh, that I really appreciate about them is their transparency about what's coming up. They do have a public roadmap that shows what's coming up next. So if you see this and you're like, oh, they actually now have this thing or you do that thing, they didn't when I did the video, okay? But they're changing constantly and I think that that's a really awesome fact about them. And because you know I like to talk about both sides of the coin, what do I feel could be changed or improved when it comes to Lunatask? And really there's not a lot. Um, I only have two main complaints. The first being that the mobile app for Lunatask is only accessible as of now through a beta app or through a beta testing program. And it's been that way for a while. Um, like I said, I've been dealing with Lunatask, I think for about a year, year and a half. And when I first started working with them or when I first started trying it, the app was in beta. It is still in beta and we're probably going to be about two years out. I feel like that's a little long. Now, granted, I don't know a lot about this, so maybe that's really common, but it makes it so that it's not a simple thing. It's not as simple as simply downloading the Lunatask app and using it on your phone. You have to go through the beta program to be able to use the app. The app works great, in my opinion. I love it, uh, but I don't really like that I have to download a separate app to be able to download <laughs> Lunatask to be able to use the, uh, the mobile app. It's a simple, I will say this, if you want to be part of the beta program, it does not seem like it's hard to become a part of it, but some of us don't want that extra step. I don't. And then my other complaint would be that Lunata Lunatask's Kanban option is a little clunky. When any other system that I've used has given you the option to move your tasks along in a Kanban motion, I guess, they try to make it feel as if you're actually moving your task naturally from status to status as if you were actually using a board. Uh, with Lunatask, it's more like you have to double or right click the task. You have to click where it's moving to, what status it's moving to, and then it's just kind of moved up on the screen. It still looks like a list. So there really isn't much of a point of using the Kanban option unless it is going to be more of a horizontal view, at least in my opinion. I feel like otherwise it really doesn't work. So in conclusion, I think that Lunatask is a great task manager. I think that it is robust, but not too robust. I feel that it is well built and I feel like it's great for anybody who is like, I need different ways to see 
my data to see my tasks, but I don't want the extensive setup that might come with something like Marvin. Uh, I especially think that this is perfect for anybody who is, you know, a singular person handling multiple tasks and wearing many hats. So for those of you who are interested in using Lunatask, obviously the link is in the description as it is in every video, but the details here, it is available for pretty much every system, Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, Linux, anywhere that you can get anything for a computer or phone, you're going to be able to get Lunatask. It does have a free plan if you decide to upgrade to premium, which includes more areas of life and a couple other things, you're going to be looking at about $6 a month, which is pretty economical in my opinion. Who should use Lunatask and who shouldn't? In my opinion, I feel like uh, parents, people who are singular small business owners, uh, students due to the economic price of Lunatask, all of those people are going to get more bang for their buck and they're going to get a lot out of Lunatask. I do not think that this is a good app for anybody who works on teams, for anybody who runs uh, projects where they're going to need a very robust project manager, or for anybody who likes to consistent, consistently like rebuild and change their daily dashboard, because you're not going to get the customization with Lunatask that you would get with say, you know, ClickUp or uh, notion, so I hear. I will have a review coming up for that at some point. All right, so I hope this is helpful. If you decide to use Lunatask, or if you do use Lunatask, or if you choose to use Lunatask because of this video, please let me know how it works out for you. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching or listening, and I hope you drink plenty of water, take good care of yourself, and I will see you in the next video or on the next podcast episode.